Welcome to Ballybonion in Myth and Legend Part 2. Ancient myths, legends of heroic deeds, all interwoven into Danny Houlihan's Irish experience. In this podcast, the second in the series, I will deal with a ferocious puck goat, a supernatural wild boar, and a druid's lair. Through his people, his heritage, and his rugged coastline, this is truly Danny Houlihan's Irish experience. The Battle of Goats Island One fateful day around the year 800, as the four settlers of Goats Island were preparing food, the list came under attack from Viking attackers. Agonising screams of the fort dwellers awoke the great vicious puck goat called Fiacra from his underground cavern. Fiacra emerged at the north side of the fort, steam protruding from his nostrils. Stamping the ground, he charged at the Viking attackers. Twelve Viking leaders lay dead in a heap of blood and entrails. The remaining Vikings retreated to the base of the promontory fort, where Sunday's well was located. Thorcaster now gets his warriors into the battle and led them once again onto the island. There in front of them was Fierkra, who pushed one after one over the cliff to the trackway below. Their advance was quickly stopped as Fierkra charged at Thorcaster, his horn piercing his groin. Thorcaster hit the ground with a fatal roar. He lay dead before the beast. The villagers gave thanks to their god and paid homage to Fierkra the guardian of the fort. Lame the Mucca, the Pig's Leap During the life and times of the Fianna leader, Finn McCool, many stories have been handed down from generation to generation, from father to son, and from great books or loud moor. This old story tells of a tale of a legendary chase across the landscape of Kilconley and Dune with the Fianna in hot pursuit of an enormous pig or wild boar called Bran, who rampaged the area of Dune and Bramor Cliffs during the time of the Fianna. Tradition relates that one fine evening, as the Fianna were engaged in a hurling match on Litter Strand, Fionn noticed a large pig or wild boar feeding in the undergrowth. Fionn called the warriors around him and gave chase to the pig, which ran in the direction of Beale. The speed at which the animal travelled astounded the Fianna, who came to the conclusion that the pig was from the other world. The chase lasted for three hours until the pig arrived at a cliff overlooking the White Strand. From there the pig dragged the Fianna along the rugged cliffs of Faha until it halted at a large chasm near Bramore Cliffs. Bran turned around quickly and gained speed and with one sudden leap crossed the chasm. Today the area is known as Lam the Mwika, or the Pig's Leap. The Hunter's Pat The Cliffs of Dune are a special place, noted by historians and folklorists alike. The tale of the Sager and the many battles he fought. The Hunter was an old sailor who camped yearly near the Cliffs of Dune. One cold winter's night, the demons from Skultnadrida came to torment the Hunter. They woke him and taunted him until the hunter collapsed with fear. The Sager was in the area at that time and called to see the hunter. On entering the hut, he witnessed the scene. Immediately, he engaged the demons with his powerful talisman, the Sword of Light. This sword protected the Sager from all ghosts and ghouls which came in contact with the Sager. When the demons came into contact with the Sword of Light, it banished them back to Skultnadrida. The battle lasted several hours in the hut. Demon after ghoul attacked the Sagar. The Sword of Light became light several times. The screams of the ghosts were heard in all directions of Dune and Bramore. The battle reached its climax when the Sagar reached into his pocket and pulled out a fist of gold dust, the dust of Kier. Within seconds of the Sager blowing the dust in the direction of the ghosts and ghouls, they were all banished back to the Skult. The hunter awoke, not remembering what happened, but when the Sager related the story to him, 
he quickly packed up his belongings and ran to the hills of Cunocunor for sanctuary. I hope you have enjoyed our journey back to the myths and legends of the Valley Bunyan area. The history, the culture, all interwoven into Danny Houlihan's Irish experience.